the ones that we will meet first. So we have started already, and I'm not sure if the union is aware, but we have started to um, educate our, our, our medical staff that is even more in contact uh, directly than, you know, I would say some of the, the other sectors of workers. But we have started firstly with our medical staff, and um, sooner than later, we are actually going to implement those awareness sessions um, among the, the working force. We are, we are, of course, we have to empower workers, our health staff first, and um, in a chronological way, we will be addressing every sector of the society, including um, the workers on the front line um, at, the, at the hotels, um, at the Princess Alice Hospital, etc. But this has to be a process. And as I said, we have already started with our health staff at the hospitals. And this week, um, our, for example, our DMOs are going to have a session um, and, and the nurses are going to have their sessions, etc. And then we take it out to the rest of workers. But we cannot do everybody at the same time. You're watching the GIS News. We'll be back after this break. Man, I was so scared, I nearly wet myself. Only those who have lived it can truly understand the devastating fury of a hurricane's wind. The house across the road just get up and roll over. Hurricane force wind, it's a hazard. Hazards, take control, reduce your loss. You can hurricane proof your home, for example, Make your roof more wind resistant by using screws instead of nails in its construction. Find out more about hurricane force winds and other hazards at your local disaster office. A message from your national disaster office and Sidera. Sandals La Source continues efforts to ensure each member of staff upholds its principles of service. It recently graduated some members of staff from its HTP program, which encompasses hospitality training. The training program was designed to give Caribbean nationals the ability to build skills needed for the hospitality industry. It provided technical and soft skills training in areas of hotel operations, inclusive of food and beverage, housekeeping, revenue, finance, engineering, and entertainment. The HTP program also places heavy emphasis on customer service. One of the trainees and employee at Sandals, Ryan Butler, worked at the hotel for five years. He congratulated graduates on their achievement of the course. You have sought training. You have enhanced your personal, um, you, you, you've enhanced yourselves. You've gotten advancement. I am delighted to have witnessed your progressions. You now have increased level of confidence, knowledge, and proficiency. And I'd like to put the emphasis on the bond that you have created as a family. And I must commend you for that. The training ran for a period of 10 weeks. General Manager Peter Fraser says their devotion to the training shows a serious level of determination. And that means a lot because I'm sure you have a lot of um, of, of the peer pressure of people who say, well, how do you get to and from the hotel? How do you survive? How do you make out? Because you're not being paid. You might not be being paid in cash, but you're being paid in a kind that you can't put a value on. And if you've made good use of that 10 weeks, both in the classroom and on the floor where you're working alongside your mentors in the various department, then you can look back and say, this was 10 weeks worth spending. So, you know, I, it, it is, it is, I'm so proud that I think all but one, I, I think we got the three, uh, that, we, that the majority of you stayed the course, you worked hard, and from what I understand, a few of you might even be staying on. 
as a, as, as, as eventual em, um, employees. Members of community groups, associations and organizations in Happy Hill are being encouraged to attend a meeting this week to discuss a new stream of funding for communities to enhance their ability to adapt to the negative impacts of climate change. Participants will discuss issues affecting agriculture, fishing, tourism, health, water, education and awareness, among others. The meeting is being organized by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, and the Ministry of Agriculture, as well as the Ministry of Karakou and Piti Mardik Affairs. It's being done through the project entitled Program on Integrated Climate Change Adaptation Strategies in Grenada, which is being implemented jointly by the UNDP, GID, GIZ, and the Ministry of Agriculture on behalf of the German Federal Ministry for the Environment, Nature Conservation, Building, and Nuclear Society. The project is aimed at increasing the resilience of vulnerable communities and ecosystems to climate change risks in Grenada, Karku, and Piti Martinique. The meeting will be held at the Happy Hill Secondary School on Wednesday from 5 p.m. That's news. Sports is up next. When the British and French arrived, it was colonial. When the Americans landed, it was revolutionary. In April, English cricketers lead an army of fans on an invasion of Grenada. England versus West Indies, National Stadium St. George's. This time, it's the economy. It's coming. Coming. Calling all BMX riders. B B BMX riders. You and your team. Your first ever freestyle bicycle sporting competition. Tricks on wheels. Trick, fresh tricks on wheels. Coming to the new Grenville Bus Terminal. October 25th, the, the holiday. Featuring Jaleel and crew. Hosted by Greens Bicycle Shop. Stay tuned for more info. Get ready. It is coming. Coming. The third one-day international between the West Indies and India called off because of Cyclone. Paradise uh, runaway champions of the 2014 GFA soccer season, that's the Premier Division. This is another of the GI Sports. Hello, I'm Trevor Thwaites. The third one-day international between the West Indies and India at the Visa Hapatu Stadium on Wednesday has been called off because of Cyclone Hood that's according to cricket officials in India. They say that this is because of the extreme weather conditions being experienced in the area. Indian cricket officials say that they are disappointed but cannot overcome the natural calamities caused by Cyclone Hood All flights into Visak Apatan have been cancelled. Reports say Reports indicate that the cyclone felled trees, damaged crops and buildings, knocked out power and 75% of the communications network in Andhra Pradesh. Pradesh. Five, uh, the five-match series is leveled at one game apiece between India and the West Indies. The Indian win the second game by 48 runs on Saturday. They scored uh, 263 for seven. That's India and then dismissed the West Indies for 215. It was an all too familiar poor batting performance by the West Indies, which caused them the encounter. They were sitting pretty on 170 for two, chasing 263 for victory, but lost the last eight wickets for a mere 25 runs, squandering a golden opportunity to take a 2 0 lead in the series. Dane Smith missed out on a century, scoring 97, his highest one day score. Meantime, word from the West Indies Cricket Board is that right-handed batsman Linda Simmons will take no further part in the tour of India. It says that he has a back injury 
and will return home to his country, Trinidad and Tobago. The board says that a replacement will be announced in the coming days for Simmons. West Indies are playing a five-match one this series and a three-match test, a three-match test contest. That's right against India on the current tour. They will also move to South Africa for similar engagement in December. The team, of course, Dwayne Bravo, Darren Bravo, Suleiman Ben, Marlon Samuel, Dennis Ramdeen, Dwayne Smith, Andre Russell, Darren uh, Sami, Jerome Taylor, Ravi Ram Paul, Kima Roach, Kieran Pollard, and Leon Johnson. West Indies A will have a lot of batting to do to avoid defeat in the first unofficial test match against Sri Lanka in Hambantota. The regional cricketers closed the third day on the four-day encounter on 267-47 for seven in their second innings, a lead of just 14 runs. They're hoping that Shane Shillingford and Nikita Miller will extend their seven-wicket stand and that the lower order will provide stubborn resistance to force the game into the final session. The pair have added uh, some 87 runs so far for the seventh wicket after they came together with the West Indies on 175 for 7. Shillingford is 56, not out, and Miller, 37. Sri Lanka posted an impressive 413 in their first innings with uh, Kuranate scoring 139, Turamani, 93, and Shandimal, 87. Shillingford was the best bowler with figures of 5 for 160 from 44.4 overs. Shannon Gabriel took 2 for 43 from 15 overs, and Miller, 2 for 87 from 35 overs. West Indies A was shot out for a mere 160 in their first innings. Local boy Andrew Fletcher failed on both occasions, scoring eight in both innings, batting at number five. In football, Paradise are the 2014 GFA Premier Division champions. That's right. The St. Andrews outfit secured the title with four matches remaining to complete the season. They have played River Road team Queen's Park Rangers four goals to nil on Sunday at Progress Park in the Big Parish to move into an unassailable position. The win carried them to 40 points from 15 matches with four games remaining. Second place Hurricanes were also in as raw over the weekend. They were made hard to work uh, to made to work hard for their win, a uh, 2-0 win over Monkridge at the Alt St. George Park in Victoria. The win carried them to 29 points, also from 15 engagements. In another encounter, Hard Rock got the better of Funkinor United three goals to two on Sunday at the Queen's Park. In other weekend matches, GBSL defeated five stars, four goals to one at Victoria Park in Grenville, while Happy Hill, I'll make that, uh, let's see, Victoria Park in Grenville, that was that game played, while Happy Hill and the St. John's Sports, they played to a one-all stalemate at uh, Sunday at Bushaju in Northwest St. George. So, with four matches to go in the Premier Division, the celebrations that have already started in Big Paris and Andrew. Yeah, the runaway champions with four games remaining. Finally, GBSS, uh, President Brother College PBC, St. Mark's Secondary, and St. Andrew's Anglican Secondary School are leading in the senior division after five round of matches in the Republic Bank Rice Start Youth Football Tournament. We get more details from the coordinator of the event, Finley Fletcher. So far, we have um, in one zone, we have GBSS and Presentation College out front. We have SAS out front in another zone, um, St. Mark's and McDonald College. These are some of the leaders in some of the zones, in the four zones where we play. We have four teams and we play two rounds of games. Okay. So the junior play home and away, but the senior will play one round. And then we're going to a quarterfinal. Fletcher says that SAS, Happy Hill Secondary, and GBSS have also been impressive in the early going in the junior division. We have SAS out front winning four out of the five games and join another one. And McDonald College is in second position, winning three out of the five games. In the southern division, as zone one. We have a number